Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So, I thought for today I would attempt to do a color long or color and chat um, type of video. Although, I'm really not the most chattiest person in the world, so we'll see how this goes. But, um, if it doesn't go too great, then in the future my color longs may be set to music without the talking, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So we are going to work on this image from Heather Valentin. It's called Eleanor and Pickles Batty Bat Trick or Treat. And I'm going to be using Prismacolor pencils. So let's get started. We'll zoom in and get going. I think that we are going to start on her skin. I usually start with the skin and the hair and get that out of the way first. <laughs> so for her skin, I'm going to use Grade Lavender, which is PC 1026. Henna, PC 1031. Nectar, PC 1092. Peach, PC 939. Sorry about that. And Light Peach, PC 927. Okay, I'm going to start with the grade lavender and go in and put in the shadows. <clears throat> or where I would think, where I think they go. I'm not. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. I am not the best at figuring out light sources, but I just kind of do what I feel would, will look okay. Alright, so we'll go around all her hair. around her little hat. around her nose a little bit sorry if my hand gets in the way I'm I'm used to turning my paper <laughs> as I'm coloring it, and I'm trying my best not to do that so that you all hopefully can see and not get dizzy. <laughs> Put a little bit on her hands here, although... Well, I look like those could be mittens, but we're going to color them, or I'm going to color mine the same as the rest of her skin. Okay, and now I'm going to go over that with the henna. So, just got back from picking up my boyfriend from work. He works night shift. Um, so the house is pretty quiet. Uh, my kids are sleeping. And 
he's getting ready to probably be going to bed soon himself. So I thought this might be the best time to try to do this. My son is six years old and he, uh, he can be pretty rambunctious at times when he wants to be. Um, love him to pieces though. It's my baby. And then my oldest, she is 20, about to be 21. She's a junior in college, and she's majoring in art. And I'm extremely proud of her. Um, and then I had three kids. My middle child, she would have been nine, but... Uh, Unfortunately, she passed away for, it'll be four years in December. Um, and then, like I said, my little man, he's six. Um, he keeps me going. And he's definitely rotten. He's my little wild child out of all of them. <laughs> okay. We're going to go in with Nectar. <clears throat> I was homeschooling him until um, this past Thursday. He finally returned to school in person, which I'm a little, little bit nervous about. But they seem to be being as careful as they possibly can. Um, so that makes me feel a little better. And... <clears throat> our town that we live in hasn't been, for the most part, hasn't been one of the ones with the highest numbers in the state of Kentucky. So, um, so hopefully everything will go well. Um, I know he does better when he's at school because when he's with mama, he, he doesn't really want to learn. He, he just wants to, when he's at home, just wants to play and <clears throat> and um, do things that he feels are fun. And he doesn't feel like school is fun. So, I think educationally, he will do a whole lot better in person. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Peach. And I typically, I typically color different than... Most people do. Most people, <clears throat> at least most people I've talked to, seem to do theirs light to dark. But I find when I try to color from light to dark, things don't turn out the way that I really want them to. And I seem to do best when I color from dark to light. So that is kind of how I do. Yeah, um, so far, everything with him going back to school seems good. He likes his new teacher. So he has a different teacher now than he had when he was doing virtual. And he's making some new friends, which is always good. I'm going to go in with White Peach now. <clears throat> and um, he's not not been upset about going or anything like that um prior to moving where we are now he um he never wanted to go to school he would cry every day he didn't want to go he didn't like it um but so far so good right now at least um he's he's liking it <clears throat> So that makes me feel a little bit better as well because I was concerned that he would be really upset again as he he liked being at home with me as well but but I have got to get back to working so 
And like I said, I think he'll he'll learn better in person. It's hard for him to focus when he's at home because he knows his toys and his games and all that stuff is just in the next room and he just wants to run and grab something like that so just kind of gonna blend all this together I can't find my little brush. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be wiping that. I'm probably going to regret that, but it will be okay. Just got me do. Okay. So. Yeah. I think she's looking okay. Might add a little bit more of a shadow though along the edge of her glasses. Right here, just a little bit of a hint of a shadow. to her hair. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> My coffee cup slammed down on the table. Um, for her hair, I'm thinking we will do light umber, PC941. Um, Goldenrod, PC 1034, Jasmine, if I can find my Jasmine, PC 1012, and Cream. PC 914. Okay. So, I am going to start with the cream and just kind of add a light base layer to the strands of her hair. And then we'll go in with the light umber and put in the shadow. We'll start. <laughs> I'll probably have to do this in a few parts. But we will see. We'll see how far we get. I don't know if you can even tell I did anything there, <laughs> but um, now I'm going to go in with my light umber, and, <clears throat> excuse me, actually, I think this needs sharpened real quick, okay, and then, Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I just have this little small tabletop tripod for now. Eventually, I'll get um, a better one. Hopefully, one that st can stand in the floor or something. Um, which also, I apologize if the angle is bad or anything like that as well. Um, I tried to get it set up where um, I 
felt like it wasn't completely horrible, but <laughs> we'll see. May have to make some adjustments as we go as well because um, I may have to move things a little bit when we get to the top of the page. And there's a little tiny, tiny bit sticking out down here. And I'm going in with fairly hard pressure and then just kind of feathering it out. I'm very heavy handed, <laughs> which isn't necessarily it isn't necessarily bad, but it isn't necessarily good either because it makes it a little harder for me when I'm using pencils that work better with a lot of light layers. <laughs> it's, it's really not eh, my style of coloring. Um, I try. I, I try, but <laughs> I'm just not that patient, I guess. Yeah, so Oh, and um, this image uh, by Heather is I believe is available in her shop and I will try to find that and link that in the description box below in case you're interested um, if not she had if this one isn't there she I'm pretty sure it is, but if it isn't, um, she has tons of other beautiful, beautiful images available. Okay, next we have Goldenrod. And that one definitely needs sharpened as well. Alright. So... Um, I haven't really been doing too much here lately, other than taking the kids where they got to go and things like that since Aiden started going back to school, um, which, like I say, that's only been a couple of days now, um, but he, uh, But ne this next week, I'll be going back to work myself, which I'm ready for, definitely. I have been at home for too long. Um, <laughs> you know, it sounds good, getting to stay home kind of sounds good, you know, especially if you get extra time with your kiddos, that's always a bonus, but... Um, you know, you can, a person can only stay home for so long before they're about to go crazy. <laughs> Unless you have other things that, you know, you can do. Besides just cleaning the house and watching TV or whatever. Okay. Jasmine. I apologize. I am so not prepared. <laughs> I need to get in the habit of sharpening them before I put them in the case so they're ready to go. But, you know. <clears throat> so, Halloween is coming, and I'm, I've decided, even though my town isn't as bad as some here, um, with COVID cases and things. Um, I'm still not comfortable with sending my son out trick-or-treat. I know he's going back to school, but that's a little different. Um, so I think we're going to do something at the house kind of fun. Um, something kind of like, 
either like an Easter egg hunt, but for like Halloween treat bags or um, or making like a little boo basket and letting him dress up and do some different things. I'm not sure. I'm toying with some ideas at the moment, but yeah, I don't feel comfortable with my son trick or treating with everything that's going on. Next will be cream. That's just my personal, um, for our family, that's just, um, how we feel. If anybody else is comfortable with going, then by all means, but, uh, I just worry. My oldest, she has asthma and, and things like that, so... Definitely don't want my babies to get sick. But we definitely love Halloween. It's mine and both of my kids' um, absolute favorite holiday. We really love it. Um, okay. I'm not liking the way her little bang is looking right there. Let's see if I can fix that a little better. But uh, we can still have fun even if we're not taking him out trick-or-treating okay oh. right now <laughs> I think now I'll start on her costume and I'm going to do, I believe I'm going to do a purple combination for her costume and throw some black in there. Of course, since she has some bat wings. I don't want too much brown in the image because we've got the trees and the little path. So. Put these up, I apologize. So real fast. Um. Spot. Okay, so for her costume, we're going to use black grape, PC996, violet, PC932, Perma Violet PC one zero zero eight Lilac PC nine five six and grade lavender again, which is PC ten twenty six. Back off to the side. Okay, now figure out exactly how I want to do this. Let's see. Um, hmm. Well, I think we'll start with her top with the black grape. It's a quick twist. Okay. Let's see. Let's 
kind of go around the edges. Do a little feathering along that edge. Just something to blend into. So what are you all working on? I've been doing all Halloween or fall type images so far this month. I did a lot of that last month as well, but um I'm not at all tired of it. Like I say, I love Halloween, so I am really enjoying coloring all these images. And I'll be doing the end of this month. I may not have a huge amount done, but I will be uploading a completed pages video at the end of the month as well show everything I've done. Okay. Now, let's see. Take this along the little petals of her skirt and in some little shadows here. Where the overlap is. Same. Yeah, I think so far I've completed some like eight images so far. I've got a few works in progress as well going. I'm gonna try to get make myself sit down and finish. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm really bad about that. I'm really bad about that. But I'm the type of person that sometimes I tend to. I don't know. I don't want to say get bored, but like I want to take a break from what it is I'm working on so I'll take a break from it and a lot of times I'll come back to it but there's also a lot of times where I, I don't make it back to it at least not for quite a while so and that's okay that's okay I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on myself to complete everything I start or anything like that it's okay all right so I got that side, now we do the other side. Hmm. Okay.
So what's it like where you're at? Today it is very chilly and rainy and nasty outside this morning. So I hope it, it clears up a little as it gets later on in the day. But we'll see. Um. All right. So let's see. Trying to decide how exactly I want to do her wings, her bat wings. Um, I think I might wait on the wings and the helmet for now. Try to think about that for a minute. Okay, so we'll just finish up her little outfit. I'm going with the violet. Just go around, go over everything we've done and feather out a little bit. Sorry about the awkward silences. I told you I'm not the best at to chat, but uh, we'll try. Um, let's see. Oh. I um, I really love like scary movies, horror movies, um, and shows and things like that. And uh, I just finished up recently watching The Haunting of Bly Manor on Netflix. And I really like that. I think I like The Haunting of Hill House better than that one, though. But it was definitely good. And if you've seen The Haunting of Hill House and you liked it, I would definitely recommend checking for The Haunting of Bly Manor. And it's on there now. And I think it's really good. Um, other than that, I've just been watching either other color tubist or um, I also watch like... <laughs> I'm crazy, I know, but uh, paranormal uh, like reaction videos on YouTube and stuff. Why is that getting scratchy? It's okay, it'll blend out. It won't look like that in a minute. But uh, yeah, I like stuff like that. Um, and when I read, I read so like Stephen King and Dean Koontz. Um, which is probably why I'm so in love with Halloween, <laughs> to be honest. But um, I'm actually going to take this black grape and go sharpen it real fast. And then I'm going to go around this circle here. And just give it a little... Order. 
Okay. And the lavender, or the violet. Do the same thing. Okay, now go in with the Parma Violet. A little twist. And do that all again. say I probably use my <clears throat> Prismacolors way more than I tend to use any others, but I do have quite a few brands. Most of all are very budget friendly, and I do want to um, use those on this channel as well, so I will be doing that also, um, try to do some color alongs or color and chats using my very budget friendly pencils <laughs> and uh, stuff like that I usually always leave my background to the till the very last um, thing so it's probably what we're gonna not probably yeah that's what I'm gonna do this time too <laughs> sorry um, I've been playing around a lot here lately with my fabric castell gelatos trying to get the hang of those next is lilac I don't know how well I, I am getting the hang of them but they are fun they're definitely a lot of fun I, it's sad because I had had them for years and hadn't touched them so But uh, I do really, really like those. I also have been using um, my, I have uh, the Pebbles um, Iridescent Chalks and the Pebbles Metallic Chalks. And I haven't been using the Metallics, but I have been using the Iridescent ones a lot on a lot of the pieces I've been doing. Um, I really like those too. They're also a lot of fun. And I like that because they give you the different little, I guess, pebbles, <laughs> uh, cotton rounds um, in there, the different sizes. You can really get into really tiny spaces or do really big spaces. Um, so that makes things a lot easier. Uh, and I'll probably use those on here as well. Well... Not necessarily this picture, but on the channel. I will be using those at some point. Okay. And now, we will go back over everything with the grayed lavender. Um, well, maybe. <laughs> I hate when they break. 
I actually had another one. I may grab it out of my case here in just a second. If it falls out again, I will grab my new one out of the case. My backup. Just blending everything together with this great lavender. I am a very slow colorist as well. It Normally, it takes me quite a while um, to complete one, but I, I do love my colored pencils and wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. Oops, I apologize. Didn't mean to bump the camera. But yeah, um, I have markers as well, but, and I do like them, I like them. Um, I like them mainly for doing um, mandalas and color by number images and things like that, but uh, they're a lot of fun. I think if I could get the hang of blending uh, them and could get the results that I'd like to have blending them, that um, I would probably use them more than I do, but... Uh, I still love my, I would still love my pencils and still want to use those, but they do take up, take a little more time, so. But they're also a little bit more forgiving, so I like that as well about them. All right. Almost got her little skirt all together. Okay. Yeah. I think I like the way she's looking so far. And let's see. Now, the question is <laughs> how do I want to do the wings? Mm hmm. I definitely want some some of the purple on her wings. I think maybe we'll do the same combination on the wings. Just add a little black to it as well. And find my black, which is PC nine thirty five. Let's see. One, two. And I, th I think for the little edges of her wings here, I'm probably going to use something like um, either a glitter gel pen or some stickles or something along those lines. <laughs> Sorry if you hear that. That's our cat. She's running around acting crazy this morning. She gets really, she loves to get really hyper for some reason when pretty much everybody's in bed sleeping. Um, she'll start zooming through the house. Her 
her name is Leopard, and she is my daughter's cat, technically. Sorry, she was just under the table, touching my knee. Alright. Probably trying to figure out why I am sitting in here talking to myself. we'll probably do is finish up her wings here and then that'll probably be where we end this video for today just because we're already almost to an hour um so and by the time I get this done we probably will be at an hour so yeah I think that's what we'll do and I uh, will try to get part two uploaded tomorrow. This one will go up today and I'll try to get part two tomorrow if I can while my son is at school. That's another good thing about him going back to school, I guess, is that I can film now during the day while he's at school. Um, so, hopefully... I'll be able to start getting more content on here like I've been promising since I started my channel, but um, have kind of failed to do, which I do apologize for, but um, hopefully it will get a little easier to make my videos and get them up for you. Alright, so now we will get the violet. I think Leopard doesn't like the fact she's not getting any attention at the moment. She's trying her best to get some attention. <laughs> Parma Violet. Give that another quick little sharpen. Okay. Oh, and um, if anybody wants to do or wants to see any specific images done, if it's something I have in my collection, um, feel free to leave that down in the comments. Lef Lilac, Leopard. Um, uh, or if anybody would be interested in doing a buddy color, if it's in a book out of from a book that I have. I would be more than happy to do that. I love to do body colors and things like that. Um, 
yeah, just leave me a comment or always leave my email address in. Put my email address in the description box as well. So you could you could either leave me a comment or email me. Either one is fine. I will respond. <laughs> um, Alright, now let's take the grayed lavender and smush everything together. Oh. Sorry. I don't mean to bump it. I keep bumping the table. I got to find my brush. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. It's probably in one of my other pencil cases. I tend to do that. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to zoom out. All right, and that's where we are at for today. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. This is driving me crazy. Now that I see the wings, I really like the way that's looking. I want to try to add a little bit of this black along the skirt. Just to try to make these petals pop a little bit better. I'm always fussing with things. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> how I do. Okay, we'll put a little bit here. want this to pop just a little bit more. Going over the black with the black grape now. Yeah, I think I like that side better, where we've added the black and the, the black to each little petal, and um, went back over that with black grape. I think I definitely like that a little better. Okay. Let's see. Try to do this kind of quickly because I know we're already at an hour. I can't believe it's already been an hour. Doesn't feel like it. Okay. Oops. I'm still trying to run off the table. Okay. And yeah, you can just keep. Um, working it if you don't like the way it looks um, and if you feel it's too dark for your liking you can work on it some more with the gray lavender or maybe go in with white um, but I like the I like the way it's looking now that it's a little bit darker at the edges yeah I definitely like that a little bit more. Okay. And that is where we're going to end it for today. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like.
and or consider subscribing. Um, I will hopefully be back tomorrow with the next part and we'll get a little more done. I know we didn't get much at all done for an hour. Wow. Um, <laughs> sorry. But anyway, um, yeah, until next time, um, stay safe and happy coloring. Bye.